welcome to the Craft Stash Live broadcast. I'm Jeanette Lane, your crafty host, and today is a special occasion. We have Helen Griffin with us. Hi, Hello. Helen. You doing all right? I'm good, thank you. Are you super duper excited I about your I new am. collection? I'm really excited to show you all of these lovely things that I've been making, so I really can't wait to show you all. Yes, so we have a great show planned for you. We have demonstrations from Helen. You have like a few for us, which you're gonna love. And we also have her new special occasions collection to share, as well as prizes. We have four uh, prize bundles. Amazing prize bundles. It's yeah. Definitely. So at the end of the broadcast, we will pick four lucky people. We'll tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a bit. And we'll tell you what the prizes are. And there's also an extra chance to win off air, like in case you can't make it to the broadcast because you're busy, you can um, catch the replay and find out all the details on how to enter that additional chance to win. So really there's five chances to win. And we'll tell you all the prizes and how to enter in just a bit. But don't forget to tag your friends, share this broadcast in your crafty groups if you can, and uh, let us know where you are watching from. Um, and also say hi to Helen if you have any questions for Helen. We're so excited to have you. There's so many, there's like so much love for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, did you see some of the uh, comments on the Craft did, Stash chat group? Some, lots of excitement about this new collection, so. Yeah, the, the comments basically said like, we love Helen and we love everything she does. So we're gonna watch the, the broadcast. <laughs> Yay, okay, so let me make sure everything is streaming and say hello to a few people before we before we move on. Are you warm, Helen? Are you feeling warm? I just feel I'm, really... I'm quite hot at the moment. Yeah, I am too. In here. <laughs> it is. It's not that hot outside. So I'm not sure. It's just extra warm today. All right, let's see. Um, is it okay on Facebook, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So everything is good on Facebook. And yay, we have YouTube is... Is, ooh, we have Mary Jones watching from Ohio. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, hello Mary, Sandra Embry, uh, Rainbow. Hello all amazing crafters. Rhea says hello, Danny Hutch, uh, Linda Wake, Lindsay Liu. Rita Harrison is watching from Heath Hayes in Canuck? How do you say that? Canuck? Canuck. And Roxy Girl 6 hello from East Midlands. Hello everyone. So, going over to Craft Stash, to oh, our Facebook page. That was a uh, YouTube. Was YouTube right? Yeah. And I always, YouTube, um, not YouTube, sorry. Facebook did a new update and I cannot, it's very difficult to find. Are you, do you have trouble? Like on the, on the phone, um, like the app. I don't use the app. I just use the web mm. browser on my phone. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we are. Yay. <laughs> There you are. Yeah, there we are. So we are um, celebrating uh, Helen's special occasions collection, brand new collection from Sydney. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> just hold them up a sec because those are actually uh, the prizes, and they have like rubber bands on them because I don't want to um, mix them up. That's a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. actually, we are really excited for Helen because tomorrow she's going to be on her chanda. I am. I'm nervous and a bit excited at the same time. So. Yeah, tune in and send me some support. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so she's going to be on at 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Uh, and you can watch that on Sky 673, Freeview 85, or Freestat 817. Or you can watch uh, at chanda.com. So make sure to watch Helen's. Is that your first time being on TV? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So are you like kind of nervous, a little nervous? I'm about 50 50 on the nervous and the okay. exciting. So. You, you're going to do great. I know you're going to be amazing. Okay, so let me just say hello to a few people. Um, Aisha Weatherly is watching, Sarah Pounder, Zanda Perina, Kate Becker, Lorna Buckland, Tara Gurian, Ann Crawford, Maria Husk, Catherine Denton, Sue Lloyd, Dan Unsworth. Everybody is looking forward to your show. And Carol Dick says that she's refusing to answer the phone, so she's not disturbed today. So Good idea. She has all your attention. <laughs> all right. So tell us a little bit about this collection. Like, how is this one different than your album collection or your, you know, your little exploding, like, that exploding, exploding box? box eh? Yeah. I can take well, this back. we've tried to go more intricate with the designs and the elements because this is really... Um, 
what I like to do when I decorate things. I love to layer florals and leaves together with extra details on the side as well. I just think that looks so pretty. Yes. As it is, and I just wish I had this uh, dice set when I got married. <laughs> yeah. About, about eight years ago, so yeah, I just wish I had all this back then. I didn't even have a die cutting machine when I got married, so, <laughs> but I did do all the stationery and everything oh, else myself. But, oh, like the invitations? Yeah, I did the whole wow. lot. But um, if I had this collection, I would have just gone to town. Right. I really would have done. <laughs> <laughs> so this collection is for like wet weddings, like special occasions, weddings, but also like birthdays and like birthdays, anniversaries. Definitely. Um, these can just be using any color uh, combination, especially if you're using black and gold. Uh, glitter of gold cast off. Oh, yeah. This would look really grand as um, like New Year celebrations. Right. And even if you have numbers on there, you can put them on there for anniversaries as well. So it's not just weddings. Yeah, and like birthdays too, because you birthdays, can just use it as yes. like a gift box. Yes, this would make a gift. This has no writing on whatsoever, so this would make a perfect birthday gift box as well. It's just a good size too. Yeah, and then uh, you also have a, a favor box, and there's there's that one. It's so cute. It's the two. That's the two inch one, hot huh? little two, two inch, inch favor box. box. Yes, yeah. this, this is really special because it cuts it all out in one go. Mm -hmm. So there's no separate lid and um, box for you to assemble together. So you can just literally cut out of like you know twenty or fifty of these, and then they're all ready for you to assemble. You can even um, mat them. With all the, the mat dies on there. Yeah, it's before, so cute. Let me let me show that on the, the closer. Look how cute that is. That's adorable. And and these seem like they're really easy to make. So if you are using them for like a wedding and you need to make fifty of them, that's like that's right. Yeah, you can um, put all the mats on while they're still flat. And then when you're ready to put them all together, like the day before or maybe two days before, <laughs> it depends how last minute you are. <laughs> right. But yeah, you can just uh, just glue them together and. Add your ribbon on and you're good to go. Let me show the pillow box. Sorry, close up again because everybody needs to see this. It's so elegant. You're so you're so fancy, Helen. How do you do it? It's just so classy and it's really it's like a timeless, timeless style that you have. I really want to do a scrapbook page featuring that sort of design as well. I mean, on my Facebook um, on Monday it was it was my, my wedding anniversary and I shared um, a scrapbook page of me and my bouquet and um, I'm gonna probably redo that one again with that die set there. Yeah, gorgeous. So but then there's also a, an envelope as well yeah. so you can make um, like the invitations like you, you were saying the, the stationery. Set, yes. So this one here. Yeah, hold these again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold those for me, thank you. Just so I can hold it up close and then you can tell us all about it. Okay, so I really wanted something intricate that would cut into the envelope so that we've got the leaf panel there and it's um, it's got the ornate shaped edge as well. It just gives that extra special touch to your wedding. So um, there's room in there, there's the invitation as well. You've got the mats in there to cut everything out. Oh, I didn't know the mats were included yeah, as well. Yeah, one of a stitch die as well. So oh yeah, I can see the stitching. That nice little um, special touch there. And it also um, comes with a die set so you can cut the liner as well. So it's got all of these extra things in the die set that you can do some nice, pretty um, extra things with. And also the envelope liner, this inside, that you get that die as well? You do, yes. Yeah, so it's, this pink inside. It's all shaped perfectly. And I, I love that because it's, it's coordinated and you can really go, like if you have a certain color theme, Exactly. You can go crazy and just because you have all the dyes to create all the different layers for exactly, it. Exactly, yes. And so um, with the um, other dyes that are in the set uh, available as well, you can make yourself a nice little invitation pack. So obviously you wouldn't want to send that in the post as it is. Yes. Yeah. special. But normally when you send an invitation, you have all this other information as well to go in there. But, um, uh, wedding gift details and yeah like the registry yeah, like where they're registered and, and, and travel stuff. details and things mm -hmm. so you can literally um, put this into a, a jiffy bag you know the, those white plastic yeah. bags so um, you can create a whole set and then stick that in the post in a little jiffy bag and so when they open up you can even wrap it up in a tissue paper as well and just so that when they open it it's all special yeah. You're brilliant. Helen, you're brilliant. I'm in awe of you <laughs> and um, I just I love that. Okay so it's you can use it for weddings, right, and birthdays and gifts. But also, I mean, 
I like journaling, you know, <laughs> I like journaling. So I can, oh, I can see myself using all these little um, flowers and the leaves and the sprigs in a yes. journaling layout, or like you mentioned earlier, scrapbook layout as well. So don't think it's just for, you know, um, like party decor. Yeah, exactly. It, so much more. If there's a special design, I pass this back to you. Yeah. <laughs> you can just pass it back and forth. <laughs> this is, um, we designed this envelope specially so that when it's standing up this way, it fits the um, the small binding on our mini albums. <gasps> no way! It does. What? So I didn't know that. It, you can make a mini album from these envelopes. So that was one of my design features. It, it had to be the height so that you could make the... Uh, so the it'll album. work with the uh, binding the dies that you ones, have. Yes. Okay, so... So it's going to work perfectly with that. So if you mini imagine, albums out of it. Yeah, and it, it's got all this stuff... Um, all the dies here, so you can decorate your mini album, you can mat and layer it. You can even use these mats, um, the mat dies, to uh, cut out your photographs as well, so they're the perfect size yes. for your album. So um, if you were making a wedding uh, album, this would be absolutely perfect. It has a little keepsake, you can just keep it on your coffee table, it's just the right size. Yeah. And it's just got that extra special detail. Beautiful. As well. Beautiful. Let me show this one. This is the geometric in arch panel die. Is it? Yes. I said that right. <laughs> so tell us how, how these work because these are like intricate panels. So okay, what yes. can you use them for? These are so um, much of it. Ooh, yeah. Right, a little cut out here. Should we pass that over? You're, in, so, you're prepared for her so chanda. <laughs> <laughs> they are really versatile dies. They're going to be fitting into um, a lot of our um, dies that we're bringing out with this collection, including this pillow box here. Mm. Swap. Swap it's it out. Gonna, it's going to fit on there. So I'll be showing you, um, I'll be demonstrating that today. So with this die, you get four dies. So you get two of the main panels and then you get an outline. So mm -hmm. the inner panel is going to just cut out the intricate design. So you can have it in the center of your page. Right. And it's got the outline die that comes with it. So you can cut it out completely as uh, you can see on that pillow box there. Gorgeous! I'm loving it. Ooh, thank you for that. That was really helpful to see, to see it all nice and die cut. So we want to give you plenty of time to demo your the projects that you brought with you because we like to see you, because you make it look so easy. Doesn't she? She makes it look so easy, guys. So um, we want to let everyone know how to enter this giveaway because we're giving away some of these things, uh, there's, they're going to be on a Hachanda. So they're Hachanda exclusives, and we can't really show you <laughs> what they are until tomorrow when you'll see Helen on Hachanda. Hopefully you can tune in. She's going to be there at 8 and 12 p.m. Mark your calendars. So we can't show you um, everything just quite yet. So that's why I'm like holding these and just passing them back and forth over here so that I don't accidentally show you the exclusives on Hachanda. But um, we're going to give some of that away today. So... We will be giving away. So this is going to be one of the prize bundles. I can't can't show all, all of you guys, but <laughs> can't show them all. But make sure to tune in to Hachanda tomorrow so that you can see that. And then we have um, these two, which I will just show you briefly. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> so these two are up for grabs. And then a missing one. I think I dropped it. And then this one, this one I think we can show. Oh yes, yeah. that one's fine. Yes. This one I can show you guys. <laughs> so it's a two inch favorite box and also the small envelope, which we were just showing you earlier. So four little bundles to give away. We are so excited for four lucky people. And then on the blog, we're giving away the complete bundle. So all of this here to one lucky person, plus the Mr. and Mrs. Topper which let me show you that really quickly because I'm really proud of the little cake that I just made right now. <laughs> so this is Mr. and Mrs. Little Topper. Isn't that fun? What would you what would you use it for besides like a... This is a very versatile set. <clears throat> My voice gone funny there. Right, so this is a very versatile set because they are all separated. So mm -hmm. you can have Mr. and Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Uh, Mrs. and Mrs. Yeah. So this is a really versatile way. and. Um, it also comes with the background as well, so um, I've used this on some of my samples here with just the, um, the yes. letters just here. 
that you can also use them layered up as well. So I like that option. And then we want to definitely mention the flowers and leaves. So what I've used for the cake, if we can go back to the cake, Shana, thank you. Show that cake, Shana. <laughs> So this is using the Mr. and Mrs. Uh, topper, but also the floral and leaves, flower and leaves. So that's this here. So you can make those. There's three sizes, I believe, of roses that you can, yes. flowers that you can make. And it comes with little leaves and sprigs. I so that. I think that's the one I'm most excited about is that yes. one there, definitely. We saved it for last. And, and these little flowers you have all over your boxes, right? So, right, so use the pillow box actually comes with its own rolled roll rose dye. So the pillow box comes But it's just, yeah, but this set um, comes with like three sizes. That comes with three yeah. sizes, yes. Shauna, show my cake again. I didn't get to see it properly. <laughs> it's so cool, guys. Yeah? I don't know, I'm really proud of it. Take some photos, <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Take a photo if you're there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really like that cake. All right. So to enter that giveaway, to enter the on-air giveaway, all you have to do is answer the question. So you see all these little, uh, the floral, the flower and um, leaves die set. So you see it on there, you saw it on the cake. What would you do with this die set? Like how would you use it? So that's the giveaway question. So how would you use the Simply Made Crafts flowers and leaves die set? I'm sure you have lots of great ideas. So you can answer the question, uh, be entered into the giveaway, and then I'll read some of the uh, comments as you are demoing, yeah? Okay, so should we clear this? Yes, yes, I will clear some of those beautiful things out of the way. Just so we have more room. Tell us what you're gonna be showing us first. I'm going to be making this one first. And I won't be using the, um, the liner. I'll be showing you a different way of creating this back edge here um, without having the liner at the back. Uh, mm. Sometimes it can be a bit time consuming. So it, it yes. depends which look you want to go for. But if you want to go for a more easier route, then um, right. you can just add this nice um, element on without having to go into doing okay. the back. So let me get everything out. Yeah, give us a second. I am going to pull out the Big Shot Plus because uh, the dies you will you will require a large. I got it, Helen. I got it, Norma. <laughs> um, you will require a large format die cutting machine, so you need a nine inch, nine inch, a four sized die cutting machine. You do, yes. Because they're they're big dies, much like your exploding box dies, and then um, some of your album collection as well, huh? That's it. Yes. All right. Okay, so I have everything prepared ready. So I have a 6x4 piece of card here, and I've gone to my computer and printer. And it's quite easy to just to print it out onto a 6x4 piece of cardstock. So that is going to be my main invitation. And if you're really fancy and, and could do all that lovely handwriting, then go for that instead. Okay, so as I said earlier, this is the envelope with the liner. That's a small envelope, Diane. Yeah? Uh, this is the large one. We're oh, the large one. The large one today. Sorry. Grab that's the wrong one. That's the die. And this die here is, if you can actually see that, let's put that here. So this is the die here that's going to create the envelope. As you can see, it comes off the edge here. So you can trim it off completely or you can carry on and just trim it off down a bit lower so it's going to cut it just like that. So I'm going to go with some ivory cardstock today. I load up the machine. Sorry, so to enter that giveaway one more time, um, what would you add uh, these flowers to? So the Simply Made Crafts Flowers and Leaves die set. What would what project would you add those to? Let us know and that will enter you into the giveaway to win one of four uh, prize bundles, uh, special occasions prize bundles. Okay, so I'm just running this through the gift shop. <laughs> Cut out. So let's pop these aside. 
That's the die set she's using, the large envelope die set. So look at all the dies you get inside. 14 dies, crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly fold everything in. I like to get my fold lines pretty nice and tight. Right, so I'm move the die cutting machine just closer yeah, so sure. everybody can see you <laughs> i know it's just die cutting but there's i don't know i like to watch it you all right with that maybe there is that okay yeah, yeah. Oh, that gives me more space this side cool excellent okay let's load up again i love this too you have to tell us about this later ah, okay <laughs> Let me read some comments. Uh, Diane Radford says that she would love to make the boxes with flowers on to put little chocolates in and on the table when we have family over. Um, Tracy Martindale says that she has the ideal size canvas to make a miniature flower wall as a background for pics of cards and crafts. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a piece of washi tape. Christmas. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> One good way of using up your washi tape, I can find the end. There it is. There we are. Got it. <laughs> there we go. This is important. Just use a bit of washi tape here just to keep this in place, or you can run it through twice. It's up to you how you do it. I'm thinking that looks. Okay, I don't really want to get my head in the way. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're fine. There we go. Right, let's run that through. The whole table shakes when, <laughs> when you're running it through, but that's okay. <laughs> Just run it through again. Because it's a slightly intricate die, I do like to run it through twice, so backwards and forwards, that should do it. Now we can take this off. We have Catherine Denton who says that she, since she discovered Helen's work, she's become addicted to making mini albums and traveler's notebooks, and she would use the flower and leaves die set to embellish the covers of these, which would give them a whole new dimension. I agree. Isn't that a great idea? That is great, yes. Okay, so it's cut out like that now, so this bit's still attached. Sorry, I need to move it up here just a little bit. So it's still attached, and then... You're just going to snip it with a trimmer. Look at you. Let's move this aside. It's like making a big mess now. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> you go for it. Okay. Sorry, let, let me move you up forward just a little bit. Can I? Yeah. There you go. Nice. Trim that down and then I'm just going to get my scissors. I'm just moving Helen's hands just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just pushing my cake into the shot. <laughs> I want everyone to see it. <laughs> Sorry, you keep going, Helen. I'm making a big mess. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's what happens when you're crafting. I do. I make a huge mess when I'm at home. And then it's a big tidy up afterwards. So that is going to glue onto there. So let's grab the glue. I'm going to use Cosmic Shimmer today. Okay, so this glue does dry pretty fast, so you do have to work quite fast because I'm going to dab bits of glue onto each little leaf. But if you do it quickly, you'll make it before the first lot of glue dries, unless it's a very hot summer's day, which has happened to me before. Just a little bit of glue onto each leaf just to keep it in place. And then we're going to just quickly glue that on. I mean, you can also use this for Christmas cards, huh? If you just use different colors. Exactly, because you've got the ornate edge, you can, and you don't want to. If you don't use the leaves, 
don't yeah. use the leaves. Um, but with your ornate edge there, it's perfect for any sort of season. Okay, so now we're going to glue our envelope together. Sorry, Helen, I just got to... Keep an eye on the <laughs> screen. Yeah, I just got to make sure. Make sure you can be seen by everyone who's excited to see your brand new Special Occasions collection. I don't know if I mentioned the price value, but it's uh, over 175 pounds. Four chances to win plus one chance to win. Did I say how to enter the additional bundle that's going to be on the blog? I don't think I did. So to enter the additional giveaway, which is a mega bundle, so you're going to get all this here, all these beautiful new dies, which I can't show all of them to you yet because Helen's going to be on her chanda tomorrow. So you're going to get a mega bundle on the blog. Chance to win a mega bundle. Hooray. So you just go to the Craft Stash blog, and I believe someone will be posting the link to that. I believe Jenny will post that link <laughs> to the Craft Stash blog where you can enter that giveaway all weekend long until Sunday midnight. So that gives people plenty of time who cannot tune in, um, can't tune in live during the broadcast. They still have a chance to win. Sorry, Helen, let me move. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be <clears throat> moving on to, oh, I knocked one of your roses off. <gasps> no, Helen, why? <laughs> why? Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the invitation now. So I've already got this cut out. So there is a die here, you can see the stitching detail on there. That should measure six by four, exactly. So the one I've printed out is too big, but I've done it on purpose because we're going to be using the smaller die right in the center. So let's get that stuck down. <laughs> uh, I wanted to read one of the comments. Tracy Martindale says, typical crafter, you have like a 12 inch workspace on a huge table. Yes. <laughs> I know. I'm just glad that rose I knocked off wasn't a drink. <laughs> oh yeah. I've not drank so before. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen Mowbray says that envelope is fabulous. She's the best she's ever seen. Ah, thank you. And I love how all the the dies like for the mat for the different layers they're all you don't have to worry about about the sizing or trimming it wrong or no, it's all there. so helpful because I really struggle with measurements <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah if you're making a huge batch of these literally you just have to batch it down and and do all your printing together and then all your die cutting together all in, you know just so that you're not going backwards and forwards making each individual invitation at the same time mm -hmm. one by one it's a lot quicker if you do it in batches okay so let's get this stuck down now maria huss says that she has helen's loaf and tin die and she would um, make put an oasis in it and make loads of flowers to plant it in it for her mom. Her garden has always been beautiful, but now it's getting a bit much for her. There are less flowers in it, so I would love to give her flowers that will not need any maintenance. Good idea. <laughs> it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna set all of my elements out now. I think that's our die cutting done. So I've got lots of things here. This die set has really flowers, and this is one of my favourite things, is that centre bit in the middle of the flower. So yeah, um, when you like, I can just, just do all of your leaves and all of the flowers. I mean, I'm not saying do it all in one day, because that would be a mammoth task if you're making quite a few invitations, but just, you know, um, pace yourself with everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to decorate the envelope first. So I cut this shape here, and I just love this shape here. So these are going to be really good layered together. So let's glue those together. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Sorry. It's because when I film at home, my camera's over here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. I feel mean moving your arms, but I want everyone to be able to see all the beautiful things you're making. Okay, 
Okay, so this is where you'd write the recipient's name. And if you are actually going to be sending this in the mail, then this would be like literally the last thing you could put on there. There might not be room for a, a stamp there, but you can try it. Okay, so that's the envelope address thing done. So let's decorate that now. I'm just going to grab that so I can use that as my sample piece. Oh, so you can see the... Yep, so we're going to shape those flowers now. Ooh, a little bit of flower shaping. Got to have shapely flowers. So just grab yourself a flower rounding tool. Just press that round and that should... Oh, Chris Barnes is saying, if I could please repeat the time that Helen is on Hachanda tomorrow. I surely can. So she's going to be on at 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. With Paula Pascual, she's going to be there too. Yes. Yeah, you're going to have fun. You're going to love it. I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, make sure to tune in to Hachanda tomorrow at 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. to see the rest of the um, dyes that we can't show you. But that, uh, some people are going to win today, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, and she, you can watch uh, Hachanda on Hachanda.com or Sky673, Freeview85, and Freesat817. Sorry, Helen, didn't mean to interrupt okay. your flower shaping. I'm just layering up now. So you just add your glue. This is where the fun begins. Okay, so we add that one there, and then a silver one. This is, this is what I love doing on scrapbook pages, this sort of layering right here is what I love to do on cards, scrapbooks, mini albums, just, just anything decorating, anything like that. Even um, home decor, I've done picture frames like this as well. So lots of ways to... Whoa. Lots of like layering <coughs> options too, right? Because you can do, I mean, you don't have to use this one if you don't want this top layer. No, you can yeah. just completely do that. So leave that without, mm -hmm. that'd be fine. Gorgeous. So I've got to just do the top bit now. Um, maybe I'm getting a bit carried away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. You know what I love about your um, leaves and sprigs here that you've used is that you've cut it out of silver Yes. Glitter it, card. It adds a bit of dimension. Sorry, can I, can I show it? Yeah. It's I'm just going to show it in the close It's up. a little tougher going through the uh, die cutting machine with the uh, silver glitter. I have to put it through about, wheel it through backwards and forwards about three or four times. Just to because it's so it thick. It is, yes. And because it's kind of like welded together, it's kind of, it kind of meshes, um, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So it does take a little bit more of a. Um, time for that to come out but you know but I love it because I um I would just have cut that out of green only oh. do you know what I mean because it's it's yeah. all leaves the leaves are green <laughs> so I'm but like it's that. but it's cool that you did it in silver because that just gives me another idea of how I, to I would struggle to do a purple leaf <laughs> I would but I do like to add this that this would be perfect also for a winter wedding mm. adding that extra sparkle as well just take you know Take away the flowers, maybe, and you've got yourself a winter wedding theme right there. Maybe even change the flowers up to red. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice Christmassy festive thing. Right, so that's our envelope done. So I've got just enough elements here now just to finish off the invitation. Oh, so yeah. I love doing it on the computer because I can personalise it. So I'm move that forward just a little bit. Forward. Okay, so let's get our leaves put on. And it all coordinates, so your invitations will coordinate perfectly with the envelope. Yes. And you can even use the same colors if you want to create a favor box with that. So that everything can coordinate, like all the boxes. Definitely. The favors, the pillow box, the Definitely. other boxes that are going to be on agenda tomorrow, yes. which don't so miss it. Just make sure you have all of the cardstock ready in the right color, so you're not going to run out halfway through. 
I wanted to read uh, some of the entries on YouTube for the giveaway. Now, if you would like to enter that giveaway, you still can. There are four chances to win some uh, Simply Made Crafts Special Occasions Collection dies. Some little bundles we have going on. So four chances to win. And to enter that, all you have to do is answer the question to what would you add the flowers and leaves in this uh, die set here? How would you use those? And what project would you um, use them in? Sorry. Go ahead, Helen. Okay, so <laughs> we're finished. That is our complete card set. And with the other um, sizes as well, you can make the uh, RSVP cards that will go in the pack, even send the date cards as well. So that'll be with the uh, small one. The smaller envelope? Small envelope. One. Okay, yeah, we have that as well, somewhere here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move on to the next demo now. So let's. <clears throat> we're running out of space here. <laughs> oh, I know. I know we are. Let me just do a little shuffle. Just move that over there. You're fine. So what's gonna what's happening next? Next up we have the pillow box and we're gonna be doing some more die cutting and I'll be showing you um, how to make the other half of this. Ooh. So that's stunning. So this is the same pillow box here. Yes it is. That one. So she's gonna show us how to assemble it and do the other side of that. Which is gorgeous, Helen. I know I have that. Have you got the, um, the panel dry? Which one? Uh, this one here. Yeah, yeah, I do. Go for it. Yes. So this is the large pillow box side that she's going to be showing us next, along with the geometric and arch panel dice. Can I have the packaging for that one? Yeah. Just to show everyone. There it is, and you can head to Craft Stash to see all the dies, the dies that we, most of the dies in the collection. Okay, so we're going to be using this one today, so I'll show you how to cut those out. So, as you can see, this is just going to cut out the intricate detail. It's not going to cut out the big rectangle around it, so that is what this die is for. So you'll add them together and run them through. Use a bit of washi tape to keep it all in the same place. So this looks like it's just one panel that you've cut into. Do you know what I mean? This is, looks like one it piece. It does. Yes. So it you repeats. have made. It repeats really well. <gasps> That's cool. I guess I'm starting off with this is hunky dory cardstock. The adorable, scorable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. As it scores, it cuts really well. It works really well with these dies. So this is the one that she's using, this die set here. That's the geometric arch, geometric, sorry, geometric and arch panel die set. So she's gonna show us how to do this, amazing. So I'm using the geometric today. And again, you are using which, which machine? Can you tell us about the machines that like the like to use the large format? Oh yes, this is the large format one. This is the Big Shot Plus. Okay, so you need to cut out two of these. And then using there's a die in the pack there that's going to cut out this shape here. So that is what we're going to do next. So for this one, we won't be using the rectangle. We'll be just using this die on its own. That should fit in there perfectly. So I am going to use a bit of washi to keep this in place. Uh, I wanted to read one of the entries for the giveaway. So again, the question is, what uh, would you add the Simply Made Crafts Flowers and Leaves die set these gorgeous dimensional flowers that you get. How would you use them? What would you add them to? So uh, Annette Dagwell on YouTube said that she would use the flowers to decorate her friend's baby shower invites and gift boxes that she's arranging in a few months time because they're delicate and enough. They're delicate enough for what she has in mind. So that is a great idea. Thank you, Annette, for sharing that. Sorry, Helen. That's okay. I'm just getting it out now. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a bit of a mess here. Go for it. No, it's fine. <laughs> I will help you clean up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Off. Just give them a 
good tap. Oh, we need one of those uh, Sizzix dye brushes, which I don't have with me. I have it at the office. Yeah. <laughs> I've got pokey tools. Let's just stab those out. Rita Harrison says that she would use the flowers and leaves uh, die set to uh, for a 3D project and box picture frames. Mmm. Teresa Trump says that she would use the flowers and leaves in her card making. She loves the album dies and she has a whole list of simply made dies to buy in June. <laughs> uh, uh, Annette, oh, I already read, read Annette Dagwell's. Um, oh, I like this comment. Penny Beeson says that there are so many possibilities she would use, so many possibilities. She would use the pillow boxes for a makeover party with her friends. You could put a lipsticks eyeshadow uh, in yes. them, etc. Just the right size for that. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a great idea. It's a great idea for a party too. And Charlie P says that she'll need a bigger die cutting machine so that she can make um, all of the awesome things with these larger format dies, which I do recommend too. You have a Gemini, don't you? I do, yeah, I yeah. absolutely love my Gemini. I do a lot of die cutting, so <laughs> uh, it, it, it's right next to my other smaller um, Big shots as well. So, right. Um, I use them both regularly. They both they both sit next to each other on the table. And let's oh, let's stick into the mat, Jeanette. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's it's, it's a non-slip mat. It is. A <laughs> Do you mean to move it out of the way? Oh, it's okay. You're right. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's move on to the next die cut here. Okay, so can you guys see still? Yeah. So what I'm doing next is I'm just lining up, I'm not going over, so I think I have this the wrong way around, so let's turn it over, because I want the pattern to repeat, and you can see here that the pattern is not is going to repeat if I put that this way around. So I've left a little bit of a gap here. It's just like a tiny little sliver, isn't it? It is, yes. Just, just a tiny it, little sliver. Just to keep the framework there. Okay, so we can run that through the machine again. And you definitely are going to have to use washi tape to secure that, right? Yes, pro probably even two pieces. Oh, there's some right here if you want that extra little oh, piece. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but I love that because it's a rectangle panel die, but you can use it. It has a, the capability of a repeated pattern like to die cut a repeated pattern of it, as Helen is showing us, which is really cool. Oui. You all right? Yep. Okay, this one won't be so bad because it's only done a section. So now we have this, it's starting to look like a nice panel. Mm. So, you're so clever. Everybody's saying you're so clever and amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yes, someone will pin the blog post for where you can um, enter to win that additional Simply Made Crafts Mega Bundle prize, which is going to be all of these dies. You can win that on the Crafts Dash blog. And I'm sorry, I can't show them all to you. But trust us, they're amazing if you are loving the pillow box and the flowers and leaves die set and also the geometric and arch, arch panels and the envelopes. You're going to love what uh, is going to be coming out on Hachanda. And then on Sunday, if you head back to Craft Stash, you'll be able to buy them on Craft Stash as well. So tune in. Tune in, guys, to see Helen's debut on Hachanda. We're all super excited for you, Helen. Thank you. You're going to do great. You're going to do great. Do you say you have to be like pretty careful with this part? Like, is it? It is quite intricate. Like, it's so I, delicate. I don't want to tear it, but even if you do tear it slightly, you'll be all right just with a bit of glue behind, mm -hmm. and it'll be fine for you to actually um, glue that together, make a bit of a mess there. That's cool, everybody. So look, from this rectangle panel, she made a repeating die cut, which let me show you that. That's so cool. And you can't even see where, you can't really see where it connects. Do you know what I mean? Like that little, yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's hardly noticeable. 
it works really well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be gluing um, this panel to this one first. So I'm just going to quickly, because this uh, die does the scoring, just pinch the corners just like that, just to get some really good corners there. It's going to help your box fit together better. So pinch corners together. see this cardstock works really well with these dies so it's the hunky dory adorable scoreable and you can get that on the craft stash website as well nice okay, so we're going to glue this on because this is going to be curved i want to make sure that it's glued in all the right places so all the way around the edge and then a few dots strategically in the middle all along the edge there and then these lines here so because this is a larger panel i am going to have to work quite fast because this does dry pretty fast this mm -hmm. glue so let's go for it now what um what i love about the dies is that they cut but they also score at the same time yeah which is amazing it's a huge time saver as well and i'm definitely one of those uh people that cut things wrong <laughs> and score things wrong or i mean i, I would <laughs> struggle doing the curved score line on this one on the pillow box because it's like a curvy yeah. one. I've made these before by hand and I've had to get a dinner plate yeah. to, to get the curve. <laughs> exactly. But with the dies, it scores it, cuts and scores it for you. So it makes it really easy. Okay, so I've just easy added some extra dots there. And before this glue dries, I'm going to add this onto the other side of our panel. Second piece done. Ooh, nice now you can get these glued together. Glue them together. Right, I'm going to do one piece at a time. What well, would you recommend? Um, what adhesive would you recommend for these assembling these boxes? Yes, yes. This, is, this has a slightly glossy texture uh, finish to it, so it is going to take slightly longer to dry because when you have a long cardstock, the glue does kind of go into the um, outer layer of the card straight away and that's what glues it together um, but with the glossy it kind of sits on the top a little bit for a uh, little bit longer so you kind of do need to hold it in place so what I'm doing is I'm just popping that on the top because it's wet glue I have time to move it around just like so and just hold that in place just make sure that it's all lined up here as well. So that's just going to make it easier putting the box together. And I'm going to carefully open it up. Just make sure that's stuck down. Just like so. Could you also use like double-sided like red liner tape? Yes, red liner tape definitely. The normal side, the normal one may not be strong enough. It's just like the white one. Mm -hmm. But definitely the red liner tape is quite strong. So that's the first one done. How are we doing for time, Jeanette? Um, you're, you're good. We have 10, 10 minutes. Okay. We probably won't have time for your third demo, but okay. we have definitely time for this one. So you are good. People are loving it. You keep going, Helen. Okay, so on this first piece that I prepped before today's show, I did run it through with the circle die that comes with the... Um, This one? Uh, yes, there's a little circle die here. And I've used that to create the thumb holes. Mm. So we need to put this aside now to, for the glue to dry properly. Okay. So I'm going to decorate it. And look at that, beautiful. But the die set also comes with this one, this um, yes, that you can again. cut in. You can either cut into it, right? Or you can yep, so cut it from a separate layer. I'm going to glue these on now. So, so that's the large pillow box set. It is, and it also comes with a smaller one as well. Ooh. This is hiding there in the middle. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to quickly separate this. I want to 
show you the rolled flower. You get a rolled rose that comes with it as well. So I really want to um, show you that. And you also get the die, or the dies, to cut this leaf out as well. So this one will cut out the individual like the inside part, so it doesn't do the outline. And then it comes with another piece here that is going to cut out the thing completely. So I'm going to glue these on now. Now there was a question about how big this is once it's assembled. So it's eight inches wide, and then um, it is six and three quarters of an inch. Yeah, so eight, six, three, six and three quarters of an inch, and then two and three quarters of an inch. So that is a big box. It is, and you can fit so much in there. It's perfect for those awkward things that you need to wrap up as well, like a scarf or... <gasps> oh, yeah! You know, Socks! Uh, scarves! Socks and scarves, yes. So, gloves. Yeah, Christmas as well. That looks so beautiful and sophisticated and elegant and intricate and gorgeous. I'm loving it. Beautiful! Michael Godsmark says they are just so stunning. Dion Penny, so beautiful. Kate Lee, great size. Okay, so I need to leave that to dry now before we start bending it, because this one's going to bend outwards, and this one's going to bend inwards. So I just want to make sure that the glue has dried completely. Okay. And while I'm, I'm going to need a glue gun, so I just need to put that on. I have a new battery operated one. Nice. Set that aside because I'm going to need that for the rolled rose. So let's get this Mr. and Mrs. put on. Oh, I've lost the and. There it is. <laughs> so again, Helen is using the, you're using quite a few dies in this demonstration, you're using am, the large pillow box die. I'm using three sets, I think. Mm -hmm. The Mr. and Mrs. die set and then the geometric arch, geometric and arch panel. So that one, Mr. and Mrs. So nice. And also the large pillow box die set, which has 11 dies in there. Amazing. I like the little ta tag too that's in there. Are you going to use that in the demo? We probably aren't on this little tag there. No, I don't think I have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop my leaves there. That's where I want my leaves. Go. And those leaves are from the die set as well. They are, yes, everything I'm using here is from the die set, but you can right then there. also use right the, um, the the other one, the flower yeah, leaves die set, just to add to it as well. Mm -hmm. So I think there's another one here. Yeah, the flowers and leaves dies. So you do get um, a little. What are, they, what are they called? Like the built buildable little flower, the like the three D three D the rolled flower. rolled flowers. So there's one size there, but this one comes with three sizes, and they're different, have different leaves and sprigs and different sizes as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is just gently roll these out. I'm not too sure. There's so, there's so many different ways of doing the rolled rows. I mean, mm -hmm. do you do this bit first? I do. Yeah, yes. I do it first. It's easier for me. So just using something round just to bend those around. You have your flower shaping tool as well. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just use my pokey tool just to get this started off. And then I'm just going to go round, rolling all the way around. So if you have a looser um, rolled up rose, you're going to have a larger rose and a tighter you roll it up, it's going to be smaller. Do you prefer them to be tight? I like a mixture, because like then yeah. you can use the same die to create different sizes. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to let that do its thing, and if you want, you can just take the center and just unroll it slightly, just to loosen it up a bit. So there is our rose. Cool. Absolutely love that. So all you need to do now is add a bit of glue. I'm using a glue gun because it um, dries faster. Because this is going to glue um, 
oh, pull yeah. the whole thing together. So then just press that down, just like so. May I show that once it's dry on the close-up camera? Still quite hot. Is it still hot? I'll hold it. Yeah. I'll be careful. So while you, while you do that, I'm just going to glue these leaves down. Okay. So there is your rolled flower, your rolled rose. And you just put a little bit of hot glue right there to just hold it all together. And like Helen said, if you just roll it a little bit tighter, you can get like a, just a tighter, um, like a rosebud. Yeah. Or a larger, like a looser flower. Yeah, and um, again, you can use the other die set just to add some more, because some of those, um, they're all different shapes on that one. Yeah. And sizes, so. Yeah, the petals really, are shaped differently. Yeah, there's a good variation mm -hmm. to choose from. Now oh, I wanted to show everybody how big they are, but I changed my mind. <laughs> it's going to be very loud because they're um, protected in plastic, like a little plastic baggie. And it's just going to be too loud to <laughs> take those out. <laughs> okay, right, so let's get, uh, I think I still have a bit of heat left in here. I'm going to glue that onto there. And I do have a spare. Here. Your flowers! Good Look selection. at all those! I spent a whole afternoon making a whole bunch of these. Look at that one on the top there. Could probably add another white one, but I, I, would, I wouldn't mind a bit more space there with the leaves. So I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> Do you have trouble knowing when to stop? Like, yes, okay, that's I enough. I always <laughs> have trouble knowing when to stop. So let's put that lid on there will dry up so now's the time to get this put together it's had time to dry now so let's just ease this into place because you have to kind of do that first just to get it used to bending and then you have to have your thumbs here you push that in do the same on the other side squeeze out and then push in so again squeeze the corners again Turn it over. This is a bit nerve wracking because you've got all these layers now, and it will mm -hmm. look like it's going to bend funny. Mm -hmm. And then once it just goes, whoosh, it just goes straight in. Right. So push it in. Be brave. <laughs> and then flatten everything out. And that is that side done. Exactly the same. Be quick. <laughs> that take on plaster. <laughs> Don't be scared. Went a bit funny. Just tell it what you want it to do and it will do it. <laughs> nice. And sort your corners out. So That's gorgeous, Helen. I love that. That's amazing. So that would look really good with a nice bit of ribbon tied around it as well. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Thank you so much for that. I hope everybody enjoyed it. That was awesome. Thank you for... First of all, thank you for being here before your big Kachanda debut tomorrow and yes. also for those amazing demonstrations and all these great special occasions, brand new collection, all the great designs there. I think it's time to announce our winners. I think so. Yeah? All right. Now, don't forget that you can still win on the, um, on the Craft Stash blog. And we will make sure to post those links for you as soon as possible so that you can enter there all weekend long. Tag your friends, share with them so that they can enter as well. And if you, um, you can also head to craftstash.co.uk and there's an inspiration section. Or if you scroll all the way to the bottom on the homepage, you will see the blog entry where you can enter to win the Mega Bundle. Special occasions Mega Bundle here. All right, so our first winner of our first prize bundle um is going to be i do rainbow it's literally rain rainbow, wow, rainbow. <laughs> on youtube uh, with these amazing dyes she would make favors for everyone attending um my, her parents um 50th wedding anniversary and she would make it really special and she would make gold glitter flowers Lovely. to add yes beautiful well mm -hmm. done uh next one Debbie Gant. She says that she would use the um, flowers and leaves die set to decorate some gift boxes and they would look amazing. They would, yes. 
<laughs> next one, next winner. Roberta Palombi. She would use the flower dyes to make a bouquet to give in a birthday, anniversary, or religious ceremonies as well. Lovely. Yes. Yeah, because they could be used for like baptisms or christenings, christenings, christenings yes. uh, first communions, that kind of thing. Eight showers, yes. Was that three? Or, yeah, that was yes, three, huh? Three. Well, mm -hmm. right. one. <laughs> and no, the last one, because there's oh, four. There's, oh, four. there's four. Last winner. Sorry. <laughs> one Annette Norton so she says the flowers and leaves gift set could be used to decorate the top of uh, the book folding books that I do for family and friends she's doing it one at the moment for school and she um, uses it to work I used to work oh she used to work in the library so she saying she loves to teach so she, that's what she would use the flowers and leaves die set for that's amazing <laughs> Well done to the winners. You can send us a private message on Facebook and letting us know your mailing information, or you can send me an email, Jeanette at craftstash.co.uk, and then I will forward your information to the right person so that they can send out your um, Simply Made Craft Special Occasions collection prize. Yay, so excited for you. You're gonna love it. And don't forget to watch Holland tomorrow on Hachanda, 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Yeah? Yes, wish me luck, everyone. Good luck, Helen. You're going to do great. <laughs> thank you so much to everyone for watching. And Helen, thank you so much for being here. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye.